Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by Skillshare an online learning platform with thousands of classes covering dozens of different creative and entrepreneurial skills. More details to come. So recently I asked you to tweet me at music is when with a picture of your favorite guitarist so I can describe them in one sentence. Now some of my descriptions are a little more bizarre than others, but I think you'll enjoy the list. Let's get started. Billy Corgan. He sounds like if Trent Reznor's songwriting was a guitar tone. Joe Bonamassa. A blues lord who has more guitars than he has chops. And he has a lot of chops. Stevie T's sister. Seems to be just as good at guitar as her brother, but definitely a lot more high maintenance. Kurt Cobain. If a pawn shop was a guitar player. But, you know, one of those really nice pawn shops. John Mayer, a surprisingly tall modern day guitar legend who's almost as good at Instagram as he is at guitar. Jack White. If Robert Plant played guitar. Prince. If Michael Jackson played guitar. Ingve Malmsteen. His sound is like if a machine gun made of leather and hairspray could play diminished sweet picking licks faster than a redneck could get belligerently drunk at a NASCAR race. Eddie Van Halen, the most confident guitar player ever. And for good reason. He's the Taylor Swift of his generation. Mark Knopfler. Proof that you don't need a guitar pick. Kirk Hammett has influenced more guitar players than we can measure and sold more wah pedals than we can count. Lil Wayne. Old meme, not funny anymore. Zach Wild, his guitar playing is like getting your ass kicked by a centaur whose baby you just murdered. Tommy Emmanuel, how everybody wishes they could play when they pick up an acoustic guitar. James Hetfield, the down picking riff lord who we all call Papa. Mac DeMarco, if Pitchfork Magazine was a guitar tone. Dave Mustaine, the best metal guitar player ever to leave the best metal band ever to start another legendary metal band. Jimmy Page, the most technically perfect sloppy guitarist who has more iconic riffs than priceless Les Pauls. John Frusciante, the melody master back in his rightful place in the Chili Peppers, hopefully forever. Dave Grohl, the only rock star I know who can break his leg during a show and finish that show while sitting on a throne. Stevie Ray Vaughan, Arguably the best guitar player of all time and how we all wish we sounded at that open mic blues jam when we were 16 years old. Jimi Hendrix, actually the greatest guitar player of all time and it's not a debate. Jeff Beck, the best guitar players in the world say he's the best guitar player in the world. Slash, the epitome of a guitar hero and the one responsible for the most air guitar solos across the world. Mark Morton, it's your lovable and rambunctious uncle who's had three eggnogs at the family Christmas party and it's here to shred. Brian May, easily the best astrophysicist who also plays guitar to ever live. Stevie T, the only thing more insane than his shred skills are his facial contortions. Frank Zappa, Steve Vai's guitar hero. Enough said. Eric Egan, upon first listen, it's as if James Valentine were playing pop punk riffs in D flat standard. Mark Tremonti, a modern day guitar hero who writes riffs that we all wish we wrote. Andy Timmons. He plays notes that you would never think to play, but seem so obvious and perfect after you hear him play them. Jason Richardson. The only guy who wasn't accused of speeding up his Instagram videos. Konami Tono. Upon first listen, she's like if Kirk Hammett was in Iron Maiden instead of Metallica. Rodrigo e Gabriela. Literally the only flamenco guitar players that white people know about. The Do. The only male YouTube guitarist who females would recognize. Me. According to my Twitter bio, I enjoy long walks to the guitar store. George Harrison. Maybe the most underrated guitarist ever embodies the concept of serve the song. Sinister Gates. When I was 16, I worked at Circuit City, rest in peace, and Bat Country was the theme song to my work shifts in the car audio department. He's a melodic shred lord. Angus Young. The only guitarist who has fast vibrato that actually sounds good. John Five, an extremely versatile guitar player. I'd imagine John's one through four are not nearly as good as he is. Frank Iero, kind of like if you never cared to develop your musical note choices past high school, but everything you played was perfectly tasteful. Steve Vai, despite the meme that I made back in 2015, he is the only guitarist who can play a million notes per second and have feel. John Sykes, Sort of like if Eddie Van Halen played a Les Paul. Dean Ween, an underappreciated indie guitar god whose guitar solos are as memorable as any guitar player on this list. Mark Holcomb, one of the true leaders in the guitar world today. I have no idea how he writes his guitar riffs. Muhammad Suismez, sorry. He's a tech death metal wizard whose playing is cleaner than a doctor's scalpel before open heart surgery. Nameless Ghoul, Fire. 
if the epic setting of an ancient medieval castle during a raging blizzard in the depths of Transylvania on a cold January night were a guitar tone. Lord Phobos, if a Power Ranger played guitar. Marty Friedman, the closest thing to perfection when it comes to blending melody and shred. Davey 504, the ambassador for Fiverr. Marcus King, the best blues guitar player I've ever sat next to on an airplane, and also the best blues guitar player under 25 years old. Jack Black, an unbelievable vocalist and my best friend, even though we've never met. I'm sure we would be best friends. Let's take a break to talk about our sponsor, Skillshare, an online community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills that you can develop. Now, some of you may know, I'm working on an EP right now, and I found this class from a Grammy-nominated producer named Young Guru to be really helpful for a certain track I made with my friend Adam Neely. The track has a lot of electronic elements that I'm not necessarily used to mixing, and this class was super helpful in helping wrangle in some of the EQ stuff that I was confused about. In fact, here's a little sample of that track. So if you click the link in the description, you can get a free two-month premium subscription to Skillshare, and it'll allow you access to the entire platform so you can access all the communities and classes that you're interested in. And if you like it, you can sign up for an annual subscription to Skillshare for less than 10 bucks a month. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the list. 50 more guitar players described in one sentence. Dimebag Daryl, scooped mids, insane shreds, and the only person who ever looked cool playing a Dean. Buckethead, a virtuoso in a costume. Sort of like if Paul Gilbert played guitar in Kiss. David Gilmore, the best Benz in the business. And also he turns guitars to gold because he sold his collection for $21 million. Paul Stanley, the guy in Kiss who doesn't have the long tongue. Devin Townsend, his music sounds like it's being played by a mythical, guitar-wielding man-beast. Matt Bellamy. If Tom Morello, Randy Rhodes, and Freddie Mercury merged into a frontman of the biggest band in the world. Rory Gallagher. The Irish Gary Moore. Randy Rhodes. The most influential guitarist in the shortest amount of time. His solos are probably the most rewind the song and listen again solos of my youth. Billy Gibbons. An underappreciated tone master and the inventor of pinch harmonics. Eric Clapton. If you have names like Slowhand or God, you're probably pretty good. Chuck Schuldinger. Soft-spoken death metal shred lord who loves kittens. Josh Homme. The gnarliest guitar riffs ever conceived. Joe Satriani the father of modern instrumental guitar music, and he actually might be an alien. Paul Gilbert, the tallest guitarist on this list and probably the only guitar shredder who's ever played with an electric drill. Tim Henson, probably the future of guitar playing. Tom Morello, he wins the has never played an unoriginal lick or riff in his life award. John Petrucci, the only guitarist I've ever given an 11 out of 10 in a stupid guitarist ranking video. Kenny Wayne Shepherd. I've only heard his noodlings on the song Blue on Black, but that's enough to know he's got some mojo. Matt Tuck. Licks that you've played forever and heard forever, but in the best way, not to be confused with Frank Iero. Tosin Abasi. If a Lamborghini built in the year 2120 was a guitar tone and had a great sense of humor. Ola England. The most popular YouTube guitar player ever and a gentleman. Mateus Asado how everyone wishes they could play guitar. Jeff Loomis, if World of Warcraft was a guitar tone. Rob Scallon, one of the original guitar YouTubers who apparently plays every single instrument. Mike Einzinger, if a guitar effects pedal fused with an orchestra, not to be confused with Tom Morello. Johnny Marr, seems like the kind of guy who would call his guitar solos guitar breaks. Steve Lukather, the most original blues phrases you'll never be able to play. Scott Gorham, Smooth and melodic, like a warm knife through butter. Alan Holdsworth, the pioneer of legato, the source of weird chord voicing memes, and pretty much every great guitar player's guitar hero. Mikhail Ackervelt, sorry, the master of creating an atmosphere. Matt Heafy, a shred guy who seems to be having a lot of fun. Claudio Sanchez, extremely high voice, extremely sweet guitar licks. Jake Kiska, Confusing morons who don't know how to accept good music for years now. Jesper Stromblad. If his name was a guitar tone. Kyle Gass. The compositional wizard behind the D. And the conqueror of Lucifer. Jake E. Lee. 
probably the most under-recognized guitarist on this list. Kerry King. 00000000000001. Gary Clark Jr., the most famous blues guitarist that people say nobody's paying attention to. Eric Johnson, the unattainable tone lord. He can play more chords than I can play notes. Al Di Miola, if a classical snob and a jazz snob fused and canceled out each other's snobbery. Vinnie Moore, the best shredder you've never heard, probably. B.B. King, said the most with the least. Keith Richards, still here. Tony Iommi, he's like the godfather, but for music. Carlos Santana, possibly the most recognizable guitar tone of all time. Django Reinhardt, proof that you don't need all your fingers to shred. Dick Dale, if a surfboard was a guitar tone. Guthrie Govan, if the Pokemon Ditto was a guitar player, and he primarily transformed into Mewtwo or Mew, but occasionally gave all the other Pokemon a try. Well, there you have it, guys. A hundred guitar players described in one sentence. Leave a comment if you have a description that you'd like to leave for one of these guitar players. Keep in mind, this was all in good fun. No offense, not that I think I lambasted anybody. I think it was overall a really fun video to make. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring the video. And I will see you in the next one. But until then, keep shredding.